In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you a few tools to get accustomed and acclimated to the Corel workspace. This is really important if you're a new user or perhaps you're upgrading to uh, the current most version of Corel. So what we're going to do now, the first thing I, I tend to recommend to folks, especially new Corel users, is to activate your Hints Docker. So if I go to the Help menu and I click on the drop-down, um, we can go ahead and activate Hints. So notice where my mouse is hovering. If you click Hints, you'll have this Docker on the very right-hand side. Now, of course, you can expand and you can uh, collapse your Hints Docker. So if it you know, becomes obtrusive, you can sort of leave it here hidden and then reactivate it when it's appropriate. Now, here's when uh, the, the Hints Docker really comes in, in hand. I can basically click on any tool. So I'm going to go to the Shape tool here on the left-hand side. Notice how the Hints Docker just updated uh, based on the uh, tool that I'm clicking. So this is a great way for you to learn all of the tools in your toolbar and you'll see uh, basically a definition for the tool. You'll see examples of how to use it and uh, you can really just help to uh, help yourself to master those specific tool sets. So my uh, advice for especially new users is make sure to learn one new tool set a day, especially some of these new ones. Um, for example, we can go ahead and hover uh, over this particular menu now, uh, which is a new tool set to Corel X5, and we can really learn those specific tools. Um, so I think this is really, really a, an important way to learn your Corel workspace. Now some of the other tools, uh, especially in Corel X5, if I go to the Help drop-down menu, we have a guide book. Um, this is a great way to learn um, just all about Corel Draw. So you can see the contents here, introduction, getting started, working with color, uh, Corel Draw X5 uh, it has some substantial uh, upgrades to the uh, color functions available in uh, the technology. So we can go to color management, for example. We can click on understanding color management. And of course, I can zoom in at 100% to this document so I can actually read it. And uh, you know, we can learn all about color management and uh, the best way to manage colors in our graphics workflow. So definitely take advantage of this guidebook. In fact, what I recommend doing is saving a tree, not printing out uh, the 319 pages. Uh, but what I recommend doing is saving this to your desktop. So just click Save a Copy, save this to your desktop, and then you can come back and revisit this since it will be saved right in your, uh, your desktop. It's uh, staring at you, reminding you to, uh, to use it. So tips and techniques, good example. Sign making, illustration, page layout, some really, really great tools to, um, to make sure you're taking advantage of all of the uh, functionality that's available in Corel. In fact, if you're a sign maker, you know, here's some tools on uh, you know, creating vehicle wraps, for example. So a lot of really cool, powerful things available in the, uh, in the guidebook. So take advantage of it. Now we'll go ahead and close out of that. Some of the other really great tools is to go to Help. Video tutorials. Make sure to take advantage of all the tutorials you can access and click on video tutorials to, uh, to get to that. Of course, insights from the experts. In fact, a lot of this messaging is available on the help, or the welcome screen rather. So notice where my mouse is hovering. It says welcome screen. I can go ahead and click on that option here. And this is, of course, what you're generally greeted with when you launch Corel Draw, unless you select, or rather deselect, some of these options here that says make this the default welcome page and always show this at launch. So here, notice that uh, where my mouse is hovering on the right-hand side, there's learning tools, there's galleries, there's updates. Make certain to explore some of these menus because this is a great way to uh, make certain that you know all the functionality that's available to you.